Have you wondered if the sunscreen in your makeup is good enough to protect your skin from ultraviolet sun damage? I'm dermatologist and skin wellness expert, Dr. Cynthia Bailey, and I'm going to explain how makeup and sunscreens work for sun protection so that you can make good choices about your skincare. First, you need to understand that the SPF in your product is determined by dosing accordingly. So you need to put enough of that product on to get the full SPF out of your product. If you're not using enough of an SPF 15, then you're not getting an SPF 15 and you're underprotected. If you're not using enough of an SPF 30, you may have an SPF 15, but ideally you want to use the right amount of product for the skin surface that you're covering. We teach our patients that for the head and neck, you want to aim for about a third to a half of a teaspoon for sun protection of that surface area. And again, your surface area is going to depend on the clothing that you're wearing, the amount of skin that's sticking out from hair, hat, etc. So ideally, you can scale that back if you're just applying the sunscreen to your face because you're using a makeup product. But you wanna kind of keep that ratio in mind. Secondly, you need to understand that there's two mechanisms of action for sunscreen and you need to know what the filter, the UV filter is in your product, be it a makeup or a sunscreen. So there's chemical sunscreen filters that need to bind into your skin and that will absorb the ultraviolet ray and then that molecule degrades. So those actually wear out. If you're planning on wearing a chemical sunscreen product for an entire day in the sun, you're probably gonna run out of protection. Alternatively, there are mineral sunscreen filters. My favorite is zinc oxide. And those mineral filters actually bounce light off of your skin. Eventually, after a lot of bouncing, they will degrade, but they're working by what we say, what we call scattering or reflecting ultraviolet rays. They're gonna be there for you a little bit longer. So you need to know which of the two filters is in your product. Then you need to understand that the dosing needs to be adequate. So if, for example, you're just gonna run a few errands in and out of your car and you're not gonna be in the sun that much, maybe you can get away with a chemical sunscreen in your makeup. But if you're going to be out at a wedding all day long, you need to be a little more prescriptive about your sun protection. So the SPF in your makeup may be good enough if the filter is durable and it matches your daily activities. Alternatively, if you're going to be out a lot, you may want to use a sunscreen that is definitely going to sun protect you. It may also be tinted, which is my personal favorite way to go. I actually use a sunscreen that's tinted and it doubles as my makeup, but I put enough of it on so that I get the full SPF dosing out of it. And then if I'm wearing makeup, I can apply mineral powder on top for additional sun protection. So. Is your SPF in your makeup good enough? It depends, and you have to think about what your filter is, are you putting enough of it on, and what your daily activities are. So, I hope that helped. If it did, I appreciate a thumbs up, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel so you can keep up with the skin education, health, and wellness videos that I'm producing. Please check out drbaileyskincare.com to see the sunscreens and makeup that I like for my patients and my own skin health. Thank you.